How's it going, everybody? It's your butt Tender Ryan. And before we get started, you know what to do. So my job as a butt tender is to make sure that every guest that comes to the dispensary gets the best cannabis product available. Whether it be flour, concentrates, or even edibles. And recently, I've been actually enjoying a great edible product that we have, and it's one of our cannabis-infused drinks by Keef. A brief history about Keef. So, back in 2010, a guy named Eric decided he wanted to make a cannabis-infused drink so that he would be able to enjoy it with friends and family. So, with their help, he set out to make his first prototype drink, and the first person to even try the drink was his 85-year-old grandma. And his thinking was, if this 85-year-old woman that has never tried any cannabis product before enjoys this product, then he might have something going on. So he gave her the drink, and took, she took that first sip. And the story goes, she never stopped drinking after that. Because cool. now, 12 years to this day, they're available in five different states and two different ter territories. They do have a wide variety of different infused products, such as their classic sodas, will come in flavors of Bubba Kush root beer. So it's gonna have that regular root beer flavor. You're gonna have your orange Kush. So if you enjoy that orange soda, you're gonna definitely enjoy that. One of my personal favorites is gonna be the original cola. I'm just a Coke guy, I guess. And uh, we've got another personal favorite of mine, which is the uh, Purple Passion. And that's going to be a awesome and amazing grape soda flavor. And our Blue Raz. These come in a soda can. Uh, they're going to be 10 milligrams each. So even though they're just 10 milligrams, just know that if you drink the entire thing, it's going to be great. Uh, I've actually been enjoying these uh, different these products right here uh, with ice cream. So I've been making my floats. You know why not? Do, you know enjoy a little something good and get high at the same time, right? So yeah, I've been. Uh, I usually make uh, my floats with the original cola or, like I said, my my other personal favorite, the Purple Passion. And uh, I found that it actually helps me get a little bit higher, a little bit quicker, which is amazing. And of course, uh, everybody's different, but that's just my experience. And it's honestly been a really great experience trying these different products. Then we got the sparkling waters that are also 10 milligrams. And these are gonna be uh, flavors of blood orange, raspberry, and black coconut. I haven't personally tried these. Uh, but I've heard that they're okay from some of the customers that come through and have ordered them before. Because I am very curious whenever I haven't tried something, you know. I like to ask people on, you know, how, how it is for them and what their experience is. Because maybe I might try it because just because they're the customer, I'm also learning from them and vice versa. So that's the great thing about working there and these different products that we have. Uh, we also got these brand new products, which are gonna be these right here, these Life Waters. These are gonna be 100 milligrams each, and they're gonna be in a pretty good size container. Those are gonna be uh, actually separated by Sativa Hybrid Indica, which is pretty cool. So the flavors are gonna be the Cranberry Lime, which is the Sativa. We got the strawberry kiwi as a hybrid, and we have the blueberry lemon as the indica. I've actually asked one of my coworkers on how the blueberry indica is, just because I'm a fan of uh, indica products, uh, even if it's during the day, just helping with my anxiety naturally. And she says she drank like a fourth or just a little under a fourth of the uh, con container, and she said that it knocked her out, that it helped her sleep through the night, and that before it did, she enjoyed how the high got to her. So 
I'm definitely going to try that out, that one out soon, hopefully. And then we also got these pretty awesome mocktails, which are also going to be 100 milligrams each. These products I haven't personally tried, but I have heard great things about them. We have flavors from pineapple. Uh, these are going to be usually best mixed with like a Sprite or orange juice. Again, suggestions from customers. Uh, we got our lemonade flavor. Uh, of course, if you like Alma Palmer's, uh, you'll enjoy it with your unsweet or sweet tea. Personally, sweet tea for me. And then we got our fruit punch flavor, which is best mixed with Sprite. So the reason why I say that they're best mixed is because since these are mocktails, these are just pretty much flavorings, and they're really better mixed with some uh, mixed with something other than what it is in, just to give it a little bit more flavor and to dilute everything else. But other than that, I've heard that these are pretty great and I can't wait to get my hands on the lemonade one. Uh, these aren't gonna be hybrid and sativa. These are just going to be regular flavored ones. I actually did bring a couple of the products that I have personally tried. So first off, I wanna start off with the can soda, the classic soda right here. So the cool thing about this is, of course, it has to have a safety thing right here. So it has that childproof mechanism. So you're going to pop this tab. And as you see, it actually does react like a regular soda. Tastes pretty good. I'm just going to see if I can show you this. It does have a small little opening. So it kind of encourages you not to like down the whole thing, but for those of you who enjoy not only the flavor, but enjoy getting high as fast as possible, we all find a way around it. So yeah, uh, with the soda, you could enjoy it just like how I said. You could either enjoy it with a simple drinking or even, like I said, try uh, experimenting with that float as a nice dessert to, you know, tap off a good night. And then we got, of course, this one right here, which is going to be that life water, 100 milligram. That's going to be the cranberry lime sativa. And as you see, that THCV. So that just means uh, it has a chemical in there that kind of like curves your appetite. So for those of you who get the munchies while getting high, this is something that you might want to try out just so that you're not getting as hungry whenever you get those munchies. Um, for me, I usually don't get munchies as often, but I always do crave like something very sweet. Uh, whenever I tried that, I actually didn't. And it's kind of crazy because I drank like half of that and again, I had a great day um, for about like two to four hours, which is really great. Um, really awesome on the taste. It has a very light, subtle, great, uh, the cranberry lime flavor. So if you, you know, mix like little packets or anything like that, just to make your water, you know, usually taste good, you know, or have just a flavor. Um, we have this one that has that, but you get to get high without getting so much munchies. And this one is actually gonna have a childproof uh, push to turn. So you're just gonna push down and turn to open it. And it does just look like water. I mean, uh, you could enjoy it like water, you could, or like flavored water, of course it is, but um, it's really great to enjoy. Uh, I usually drink it uh, whenever I'm you know, at home or I've drank it a couple times whenever I was on a hike. You know, and it was really good. Of course, it does not substitute for water, but it was really good. Um, nonetheless, like to just enjoy a cannabis infused drink instead of having to have a joint out in a, in the park and you know causing any trouble but having something to share also probably drink 
a quarter of, a, of the water, like per dose, I guess. So you're giving me like 25 milligrams right there. Just so you don't go overboard, because like I said, I drink half of it. So that was like 50 milligrams. And since it's already being absorbed so fast into your bloodstream, since it's a drink, and drinking half of like 50 milligrams of it is a pretty good day. But uh, first time experiencing it, it was uh, pretty, pretty good, but pretty uh, exciting and different. <laughs> And uh, other than that, guys, I really hope that you get to try these in any of the states that were that they're available, or any of the territories that you might visit that they're available because they are a great product. Uh, for those of you who are probably even just getting into uh, cannabis, I would say um, I get a lot of customers that actually try these. So I would highly recommend if you are just trying to get into cannabis, trying to you know, not eat something because maybe you had a bad experience and that's what's pushing you away from edibles or something like that, try these uh, infused cannabis drinks uh, by Keith. Uh, I highly recommend them. Doubt that you'd be disappointed. Uh, other than that, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy getting high. Stay safe.